<laughs> so welcome to Middle Age Magic, the theme park and planning holiday blog with your hosts Sharon and Sam. So we're now on episode five and we're going to be talking about thrill rides. And thrill rides apparently are rides that I won't go on. Uh, but these thrill rides are based on um, what the what the parks say a thrill ride. So pull up a chair, grab your favourite beverage and snack and come with us on a wild ride that I won't ride <laughs> while we talk about thrill rides. said through these are classes thrill rides by the park's websites not necessarily our definition of a thrill ride Ooh, most rides are thrill rides by my <laughs> definition but yeah anything bigger than it's a small world is a thrill ride for Sharon but this is from the park's websites starting with the Disney parks um in Animal Kingdom you have Dinosaur not necessarily a thrill ride, as in up and downy thrill ride, but it can be quite scary for younger children and some adults if they're not expecting what happens. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but it's very good. Involves dinosaurs, obviously. <laughs> Big dinosaurs. <laughs> um, Avatar, uh, Flight of Passage, which is the sit on a... It's like soaring. Like soaring, but, but on a banshee. On a banshee. I was going to say sit on a bike. No, it's, it's not a, a bike. It's a banshee. Don't ped. It's not ET. You don't pedal your way through the sky. Ooh, look Why at me on a bike. <laughs> you are funny. <laughs> this one I haven't ridden yet. It wasn't open. No. It's the ride. Um, the ride uh, vehicle is very similar to soaring. It's three D. You. That's a good bit of gesticulating. Uh, in fact, Paige and Mister Morrow Nate has just posted. Uh, one of his re very recent videos we're talking May here um, of riding it so he's got a, quite a good point of view so you can actually see part of the ride vehicle while he's loading up and getting on so it's good if you want to see what it's like Expedition Everest Ooh. I love this this is a mm. <laughs> this, is, this is me trying to convince Sharon to go on it she's trying to tell me it's a bit like Big Thunder Mountain it is it's very high <sighs> it's not that high it's That's up at Epping Mountain <laughs> It goes backwards mm. and you see the yeti um, yeah the jury's i might ride it it depends on how i don't know it is the um roller coaster of animal kingdom so doesn't go upside down that's all doesn't me. go upside down just winds its way nice and gentle up the mountain <laughs> it is on the way up is nice and gentle <laughs> and then it comes down then you see quickly. the tracks are missing and you know the only way down is backwards um goes backwards for a little bit you get you see the yeti come at you and then it like diverts off forwards again a bit faster <laughs> little bit faster. little bit faster it's on my i might do it list it's on that i'm gonna drag her on and watch okay. her scream list that's okay. the one uh then you've got cali river rapids which is water ride you do get wet um so obviously if it's a cold December, January day, not necessarily. It is normally actually closed January, February time mm. for uh, refurb. So yeah, the, the, most of the times when I've been in February, it's been closed because I've always, yeah. although it's cast as a thrill ride, I quite like a rivery ride. <laughs> it's always a good one. Mm. Uh, moving on to Disney Hollywood Studios. Uh, you've got the two rides in Galaxy's Edge. Mm. <laughs> Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run, which is like Star Tours on steroids. <laughs> which um, I'm really looking forward to. It's an amazing experience. You know, for Star Wars fans to actually pilot the Millennium Falcon, um, I think it's even if you're not the pilot, because you've got the pilots, the gunners and the engineers. So it's in each 
ride you've got six people and you all have to work together to um drive the millennium falcon no you fly a millennium falcon it's not a car (laughs) always one Um, so even if you're not a pilot if you're a gunner or an engineer there's still stuff to do um and i'm gonna be like a kid in a sweet shop aren't i yeah yeah if you've got i mean the when we first rode it the it was all adults all I'd say 40 somethings and when they said go into hyperspace the girl who was one of the pilots went I've waited my whole life to do this and yeah it was everyone was cheering it's it's an amazing experience so. I'm really looking forward to it because it was it was the last time I went for a full park it wasn't open and the last time I went to Florida it was open but I never got to go to Disney it's very Sacrilege. disappointing. It was very disappointing. <laughs> so, um, yeah. And obviously, then you've got Rise of the Resistance, which is, was they say it's a 20 minute experience. Looks bloody um, amazing from all the Looks videos. stunning. Can't wait to go on it. It's, um, that will be one of the first things I want to go on. Um, then you've got Rock and Roller Coaster, which at the moment is down for refurb. <laughs> I am definitely bag lady here because it does go upside down. It does go upside down. Um, I think it's actually the only ride in Walt Disney World to go upside down. So, what that, about Space Mountain? Uh, Space Mountain in Florida doesn't go upside down, doesn't it? No, it's like a rattly old bag of what's it? It is, yes. It's um, <laughs> uh, because my back, Space Mountain in Florida, I can't ride, and it's the only ride out of all the theme parks that hurts my back because it is so we are jumping ahead though because we're we still are. in Hollywood we're Studios. So sorry, so yeah, sorry. Uh, Tower of Terror. Oh God, no, no. Or Don't. as I lovingly like to call it, the crap elevator. That's the one. <laughs> um, Tower of Terror. I ride probably about once every six years, just to remind myself of why I don't like it. It's, um... Are you going to ride it when we go? No, no. <laughs> I I used to have to go on it with my son James, um, because he wouldn't go on it on his own. So I used to have to go on it and then come off of it and he go, I'm not doing that again. It's like, thank you. Yeah, but every time you took him to the park, he's almost like he had amnesia and he was like, oh, let's go and ride the Tower of Terror. And your face used to be, oh. He first rode it when he was six in Disneyland Paris. It then took him till he was 10 to get back on it. So four years was enough gap for me to go, OK, I can do it once. Um, and he'd come off it, so I thought I'd do that again. I'm like, thank you. Uh, then, now, this is one that is classed as a th- thrill ride on the website not my idea of a thrill ride but that slinky dog dash um it is Ooh, technically a, it's a roller coaster it's a mini roller coaster it's not a it's, they've got the thick of the barnstormer on there no it's the same as the barnstormer yes that's why i said i wouldn't class it as a thrill okay. ride so depends on your definition of a thrill ride but they do have slinky dog slinky dog dash down moving on to epcot you've got test track oh i've never done that you never done test track? No, because I've never had anybody with me that fancied it. Why are you pulling that <laughs> face? Test track is obviously you design your car. Oh and my. then I it... to think what car we're going to make up between <laughs> us when we go. In. And then you get to take your car on a test track and it goes through heat testing, ice testing, bumpy road testing, curve testing. Then you go outside and you do a circle at 60 miles an hour. Ooh, it's just like me driving. So. But it's one of the rides that is affected by weather. Um, so if it's raining, if it's too windy, too windy, if there's thunder in the area, it does close down. You've then got Mission Space. Oh no. Uh, Mission Space has two sides to it. You have the green side and the orange side. Is that the one in the ball? In the no, golf that's ball? Spaceship Earth. Oh, that's the other thing. See, add space <laughs> in the name. Sorry, carry on. Mission Space is where you basically become an astronaut. If you do the orange side, it actually spins, so you get the G-force. Um, I've done the orange side, because uh, I didn't know any different. Um, and when you get on the ride, there's actually sick bags in front of you, <laughs> which just like was like, oh, no, what am I doing? I was okay on it. It didn't affect me. There you don't are... suffer from motion sickness. I don't though. suffer from motion sickness, though. So. <clears throat> I bet if anybody does, like, flight of passage can affect people with motion sickness. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, some people who get affected by um, simulator rides. Mm. 
Um, I don't. The only thing I suffer from is seasickness. So, how? Can... Oh, no, I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> I'm okay in a car. Okay, everywhere else. You're cool. okay being an astronaut, but you can't go on a ferry. Yeah, basically. Okay. <laughs> I can handle G-force. Can't handle being on a boat. Um. Yeah, so mission space. Uh, if you go on the green side, it doesn't do the spinning, so you don't get the G force. Um, is there sick bags on the green side? You think? I bet there is. I don't know. I haven't done the green side. Only done the. Only done the scary orange, orange side. side. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it's um. It's a great ride because you basically you are launched into space and you have to. Again, you've got different. I think it's four in a four in a pod. Pod, and you've each got a different job to do to Does land you put with people that are rubbish you die yeah basically <laughs> <laughs> basically you crash um so yes yeah, it's, again it's one where you've got a role to play but be warned if you go the orange side you do get the g-force experience green side you don't get the g-force so if you're an ultimate thrill seeker that's right up your street yeah it's good i enjoyed it um and then the other one in Epcot is Guardians of the Galaxy, the new ride. Yay! Um, which I'm really excited for. Me I too. can't wait. Because um, it spins and I can do spinning. <laughs> oh, no. And I do love Guardians of the Galaxy. As I said on the previous podcast, book, book class, Chris and, Pratt and I want, is my spirit animal. And I want to see what music we get. I hope we get Blondie. Uh, I want one way or another. That's Blondie. That's the one then. Um, what's, the, what's the other one you can get? You can get a number. You can get you? September. Ooh. Conga. Uh, there's seven. Oh, well. We've, there's we've, seven songs. We'll have to give it a... As long as I'll survive the first one, right? which I'm sure <laughs> I will, because it's Gardens of the Galaxy. If not, I'll I, I'll I'll take the hit for the team. And I'll, just, I'll be fine. <laughs> She's going to force herself now. You I am, because I want to <laughs> listen to all the songs. Yeah. Uh, then going on to Magic Kingdom, Space Mountain, which I can't ride in Florida. It hurts my back too much. No, it is a bag of bolts. Um, the Space Mountain experience in Florida compared to Disneyland Paris is totally different. It's... Um, if you've been on the one in Florida, you know you sit toboggan style and there's... All you've got is a lap bar, and it's like riding a very old wooden roller coaster. There's no upside down bits; it's just lots of turns, and is very shaky. Um, is it like the black hole used to be at Orton Tower? Yes. If yeah, someone did say, I know someone said that it's like going to see an osteopath. Oh really? Yeah, is that right? Space Mountain in Disneyland Paris is comparable to rock and roller coaster goes upside down but it's a lot smoother you've got an over the shoulder harness you're held in place one of my favorite rides because it now has the got star, star wars, wars. so it's hyperspace mountain in disneyland paris um so you've got space mountain you've then got tron which is obviously new yeah, really looking forward can't to this wait well. to do that that is one that is top of the list yeah tron is a massive oh, i love tron it's a it's a massive thing for me uh, one of our favourite rides of all time in the Disney parks is Big Thunder Mountain. Oh, yeah. Obviously, ride it at night, it's faster. Don't it's, know not, whether... it's not actually faster, but no, it, it feels, feels faster. faster. It feels faster at night. Um, it's, it's faster. It's definitely faster at night. Uh, another one that I wouldn't really classify as a thrill ride is Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. It's got quite a big trot. Well, not big. It's not big. Not big, but it's big. not. It looks big as it comes out. I th- See, I think, I think it's the perspective. Personally, I think Big Thunder Mountain is more of a thrill ride than Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Oh, really? Yeah. I've not ridden Seven Dwarfs yeah. because Emily was small when we went. The only difference, the only really unique thing about Seven Dwarfs is the carts actually swing. And they sing hi ho to you. And they sing hi ho, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which obviously you want <laughs> on a thrill ride. Singing hi ho. Singing hi ho. Yeah. Um, so yeah, again, that's one I wouldn't necessarily class as a thrill ride, but the website does. So and we are going off the websites. So that's all the thrill rides. There's quite a lot on that list that I will actually ride. That is all the thrill rides in the Disney box. So yeah. There you go, see? So, uh, does that mean that if I ride most of those ones at Disney, that means I can be counted as a big girl thrill ride rider? No? No. 
Okay. <laughs> let's see what. Let's see if she's brave when we come to um, Sea World. No, we? no, no. I won't go on any of those buggers. <laughs> no, you'll go on one. What out of the Sea World, right? At the Sea World one, you will go on one. I thought. Mm. That one, I thought we were going to take off because it doesn't count. But it's class. That's what they put it as. All right, okay. So. Okay, well, I can do one at SeaWorld. But anyway, <laughs> moving on. So not, moving on to SeaWorld. Are we going to do SeaWorld next? We're going to do SeaWorld next. Okay. Yeah, see, see, and I've just big that. Yeah, so SeaWorld, you've got Pipeline, which opens on May the 27th. Looks amazing if that's your Looks bag. stunning. Yeah, it's a stand-up roller coaster. Where else in the world? Nowhere SeaWorld. else in the world. Nowhere else. So obviously that is a must-do. Uh, you've got Icebreaker. That's like the first thing we're going to do when we go to SeaWorld. We're just going to go in the gate, <laughs> sling a right. You're going to go, hold my bag, pipeline! <laughs> hold my bag, onto Pipeline. Yeah, pretty much. Because it is right near the entrance. Yeah, it's near the entrance, so it's great. It um, does look amazing from the videos. Yeah, I mean, it's it's stunning. It's And it's long. And there's parts of it I'm going, well, well obviously we've been watching the track be built. And I'm sat there going, how on earth can you do that standing up? Because it just looks impossible. But It's currently in preview with, or it's going in preview this week with uh, SeaWorld. Um, pass holders. Pass holders, that's yeah. the one, thank you. <laughs> um, so w- there will be a lot of POV videos coming out over the next couple of weeks, which we'll be sharing when we've seen them. I'll be like, yeah. oh my God, you'll never get me out on that in a million years. And Sam will be like, hold my bag, bitch. <laughs> Build up me in. <laughs> yeah. Um, icebreaker, which is the loading way of it is right. Like, I've just never seen one like it. So that's another one. The actual ride itself looks really good because it has exactly. to like, build up momentum. Oh yeah, it yeah it swings and it goes. Whoosh. Yeah, it looks like it's not got enough oomph to get up the first hill. Yeah. You have to go backwards and forwards a bit, and then it's like, oh yes, I've got steam <laughs> now. I can go. Uh, Mako which last time I didn't ride, so it's another one on the list. My hubby's written that. He says it's the best roller coaster he's ever been on in his entire life. He went on it twice. He said you get massive amounts of air. Yeah, so uh, Kraken, which I have ridden, and it's amazing. Uh, Manta, and another one that I love. And now, again, this is the one where we go, is it a thrill ride, is it not? By SeaWorld's definition, it is, and that's Infinity Falls. Which, Can't be that much of a thrill ride because I said I'd go on it. Yeah, which is their like log flume ride. Again, it's another one that is normally closed during the winter months uh, for refurb. So it normally closes January, middle of January. It might not be open when we go. So on. it might not be open, so she'll miss out. <laughs> it's all right. I'm going on the. Sesame but she's going on Sesame Street, so we're fine. Because <laughs> <laughs> there are no rides in SeaWorld that I can do. Basically, if you don't do SeaWorld is the place to go if you like coasters. It's like yeah. coaster capital of Orlando now. It's yeah. got yeah. Yeah, I mean it's got what well, five. One, two, three, yeah, it's got five. It's big five big ones. Roller coasters. So um yeah, SeaWorld is the thrill seekers park, if you want to call it that. Because they are all big coasters. Yeah. Not, um not little mincy. Big no, they it's like I can go on. <laughs> yeah, it's not like big Thunder Mountain coasters. These are the big, big daddy coasters. Big daddy <laughs> coasters. Uh, moving <clears throat> over to the Universal Studios parks. Um, Universal Studios side, you've got Gringotts, um, which I can't wait to do. Um, I'm really looking forward to that as well because it's another. I was going to say stimulator. It's a, <laughs> it's a, it's a no. It's a, it's a simulator style ride. Um, so yeah. Gringotts, massive Harry Potter fan, so I can't wait to do yeah. that. Revenge of the Mummy. Um, I love the Mummy films, and I've never been. I've been so much for Chicken that I've never. But I've watched quite a lot of POV videos, including one with the lights on, so I know how <laughs> scary or not how scary it is. So I can cope with that because I don't cope well with being in the dark and not knowing where I'm going. But I think I'll be all right. Why are you pulling that face? <laughs> I've got to sit next to her. <laughs> I'm taking earplugs. Um, it won't be that bad. Now, this is again another one which is debatable as to whether it's a thrill ride or not. And that's Fast and the Furious. I thought you was going to say Rip Brian no, Rocket then. Rocket. I was like, bloody hell. Yes, that is a thrill ride. It's Sorry. Amazing. Uh, <laughs> Fast and the Furious, which. You're on a bus. Yeah. Um, but Universal have it listed as a thrill ride, so we've included it. 
uh, I haven't we'll done let, it yet. We'll let, we'll you, know let you know if it's a throw word. It is down as one of them to do. Mm -hmm. Final one in Universal Studios is Rip Ride Rocket. Which most definitely is a thrill ride. Which, and I love it. I get vertigo and it makes me dizzy just looking at the height of the bloody thing. <laughs> Uh, for those of you who haven't ridden Rip Ride Rocket, it's really long. It's very long. You get to choose your own music. Um, That's the only bit of it I would like. I normally choose Limp Biscuit. Rolling, yeah. yeah, Rolling by Limp Biscuit works with that ride. Keep on rolling, baby. Yes. Um, it has got the amazing first drop. It's a complete it's you. Massive. It goes through buildings. It goes out to the. It's at the back of the park, but it goes, goes to the front of the park. Oh, it's, it's, if, if you it's like brilliant. a long roller coaster, it's it's massive, isn't it? It's yeah. is really massive. But where it is an older roller coaster, it is a bit a bit head banging, a bit head shaky. So um, that's the only thing with it. It's where well, it is older. It's not a bit getting on that. Head doesn't matter how much you pay, um, how much coffee you're plying with. It. <laughs> and I do like a coffee. Might have noticed. Oh, yes. um, <clears throat> uh, but unlike other people. I drink mine on the on go. The move. <laughs> on the go. <laughs> All right. So Universal Studios, that's the four thrill rides that they have. There listed. are lots of other things to do, obviously. Lots of other things in Universal Studios, but they have them listed as their four thrill rides. Moving over to Islands of Adventure. Obviously, you have Velocicoaster. Can't wait. Want to do it. Give me a bag. <laughs> I'll go and talk to the dinosaurs while you're doing that. <laughs> Um, yeah, can't wait to do that one. Uh, so many people have said it's their favourite roller coaster of all time. So that is one that is top of the list again. I'll, I'll enjoy just watching it. I think that can be my. She's gonna watch me scream past that. Um, with your little trainers dingy dangling <laughs> in the air like this. That's my impression of Sam's trainers. With my, my white trainers swinging in the breeze. When we went, like, we, when we went to Universal years ago, when Julian Dragons was still there before they turned into Hagrid's, I could see her feet. That wasn't on Julian Dragons. That was on Doctor Doom. I saw your feet on Julian Dragons this as is well. well. Yes. Yeah, that, I know. I'd bought new trainers like two days before, they so were they like, were bright white. That's <laughs> the only way I knew it was you because your little feet were like. <laughs> I'm only five foot four. My feet hang like a two-year-old. Uh, the next one they have listed is Hagrid's. Um, Jury's still out for that for me. She's going to make me go on it. I, make her go on it. I told her she, she, she can ride the sidecar. Ooh, there you go. See, I'm so good at you. If I manage Tron, yeah, I can do that. You can. Right, we'll do Tron first. Then. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> Do Tron first. Okay. <laughs> but we're going to Universal first. Oh, bugger. Okay. <laughs> so if you do Hagrid, you can do Tron. I'm going to do Tron anyway. <laughs> it's being done. Okay. <laughs> right. uh, next that they've got listed for Islands of Adventure is Harry Potter's and the Forbidden Journey. Which I love. It's amazing. It's... Um, it does chuck you about a bit though. Yeah, it does it? chuck you about, but the ride vehicles is just, it's a whole new experience. Uh, we rode it when it first it opened, opened yeah. and um, it was, I mean, the actual queue itself is, um, for Harry Potter fans, is just unbelievable. Uh, the fact you go through the greenhouse, you go through the castle, it and just then. Talk to you. Yeah, then you've got the holograms. You've got ghosts. You've got ghosts. You've got Headless Nick. Yep. Um, and then the actual ride itself. Do you see Dumbledore study as well in the queue? Yes. Um, and then the actual ride itself was, you know, it was cutting edge at the time. Um, still is pretty cutting edge, isn't it? Still is really good and um, still has the long queues. Obviously not as long as Hagrid's, but still has the queues. See, to, I'd um, ride that any day of the week because I just really enjoy it. I'm yeah. the bit with the spider spits at you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Always gets good. me in the always gets me in the glasses. Yeah. You Sharon gets... with me shouting a spider is just in my face. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then we get looks of oh dear lord. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Uh, <clears throat> next up is Doctor Doom's fearful. That's an impression of Sam's feet dangling <laughs> off that because that's all I could see. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Doctor Doom's fearful. Basically, you get taken up to a tower and dropped. <laughs> do you drop all the way down, or do you drop halfway and then go back up? No, you drop, it's literally just up and then you drop and then it lets you down gently. 
I thought you went up and down a few times. Maybe I'll just imagine that. Or maybe I just blanked out and only remember dropping once. <laughs> That's, I did do it at night. Um, you did do it at night. It, it was, was at night. Dark. It was very dark. Um, I'd had a few beers. Mm, um, and, a bit, and a bit of pizza. And some pizza and thought it'd be a good idea. You're not riding it again, are you? No! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. If you like a droppy ride, that's that'll be right up your alley. It's really It's big. one of them you have to do once. No. Yeah, yeah. Not me. Not you, obviously. But um you normal do get people. good views of normal <laughs> people. Absolutely fine. Yeah, depending what because you it's circular and depending on what side you sit, you either get great views over the universal parks or great views out over like international drive. So you really go high up, so you do get some great really views. Go high up. That's like the understatement <laughs> of the century. It's effing massive. Um so yeah, that's yeah, it's it's if you like heights and you like the dropping thing, then yeah, it's a good one to do. Especially at night when you get the views, um, you know, of all the lights and everything. And the final one listed on I Love Is Veg website is Hulk. The Incredible Hulk coaster. Yeah, which is definitely a thrill ride. It's awesome. It's again, it's it's just so good. It's another one I saw your little white shoes flapping <laughs> in the breeze as you come rocketing out the hole. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's it's just a really good coaster. So that would be one of my recommendations. If you love coasters, do the Hulk. Do the Hulk. Um, if you're a bag lady like me, there's a nice area that you can walk <laughs> underneath that's got, you can see when you come out the, out the tunnel, out the tunnel, through, through out the, mist. the tunnel and the mist, which is, yeah. when it's warm, that mist is really cool then. It's lovely. Yeah, so that would definitely be, um, I said, I'd, don't agree with all the le- all of these being thrill rides. I agree with most of them. <laughs> um, I can't help it. I can't do upside down. I get really bad vertigo. I just <laughs> ooh, heights are not my thing anymore. <laughs> Obviously, if you want a park that has more thrill rides, I'd recommend Bush Gardens. Um, it's further out of Orlando, so it's not one we actually cover a lot of. Um, but Bush Gardens has Huge some roller coasters, amazing roller coasters. I think one of them is ranked in the top 10 of the world. Um, and they just keep building bigger ones all the time. Um, Cheetah is really good. Um, so, yeah, if, you, if you've got older children that want the big thrill rides, they're true adrenaline junkies, and you've either got a car or um, there is a bus shuttle service that runs from Icon Park down to Bush Gardens because it's about an hour and a half outside of like Orlando. Um, so yeah, definitely recommend Bush Gardens for the true adrenaline junkies. Um, which is why we don't go there. Which is why we don't go there. Sorry. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's um, the thrill, the roller coasters there are something to be believed. Um, it's down by Legoland. It's in that slight area. I said about an hour and a half drive. Which but... is about that far on the map. <laughs> yeah. So it's really close. It is really close. It's that far. I don't do geography. <laughs> um, so, yeah. But within the actual Land of Theme Parks, that is all the thrill rides. Um, what would I recommend for thrill rides? SeaWorld. Sea World win. I don't know why are you looking at me when <laughs> you Sharon doesn't do thrill rides. <laughs> I do some of them. Do some. The You're going to do some. Gonna do yeah, I'm gonna do more. And I'm I'm, and I am gonna get photographic evidence <laughs> of all of them as well. <laughs> Proof. <laughs> I'm get I'm getting braver in my old age. After. How long did it take me take me to convince you to get on Big Thunder Mountain? Oh years. Mm. Now it's one of my favourites. Now we can't get off of it. How long did it take us to get a decent photo of you on Big Thunder Mountain? <laughs> oh, I think the last time, well, that time that we were in Disneyland Paris, I think we had to ride it seven times before we, did. we got a picture of yeah. me. Seven. And that involved everybody in the car. Ducking out of the way. Moving out the way. So we got a photo of her on it. Because <laughs> it was either someone's hand, someone's hair blocking you. <laughs> I had someone's hat in my face. So, yeah. Yeah. So, yes, yeah, seven attempts it took us to get a decent photo of Sharon on Big Thunder Mountain as proof that she'd been on it. 
Um, so yeah, that's all the thrill rides as listed on their websites. Said not some of them aren't what I'd consider personally to be a thrill ride, but according to their websites, they are. So that's a nice short and sweet video for us. Oh, I know we're getting good at this. <laughs> Steady. I know. So if you'd like to see the next chapter in regards to um, Orlando theme parks and helping you to plan your trips, then don't forget to subscribe. You're not gesticulating. It's very unlike you. I know. I've, oh, I've, <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to catch us all the time. Don't forget to ring the bell. It's my new favourite thing. <laughs> Ringing the bell. She's been using it a lot. <laughs> Don't forget to ring the bell to be notified when we next post up a video. Sorry. <laughs> and if you've liked this very short video for us, don't forget to click like because it'll help us with YouTube. See you all soon and catch you next time. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. Bye.